this is the startup of my hopefully early early spring garden I'm doing what it's called winter sown. I am I have planted seeds in plastic container creating a greenhouse effect and I leave them outside in all the different weather conditions and they grow give you take a look here this is red Russian kale that I, that I planted some time ago and they look good I got growth in there And this, I put a number on the container and the date, and that the date that I planted, and I write it down in the notebook, and then that way it lets me know how long everything has been out here. I was quite surprised by this right here. Um, planted this on February the first. And just today, which is February the 7th, I come out and already sprouts. Now, right off the top of my head, I couldn't even tell you what this is. <sighs> what number is that? 11. I have to go look in my notebook. Um, I have one jug out here. doing fairly well now this is broccoli and spinach caught all up in there together Let's see, can I zoom in on that? Yeah. yes that is broccoli and spinach I couldn't tell you which is which but that's what's going on in that jug right there and even right here, this is green onions. I'm trying to grow up. So a lot more seeds I put in there, but this is what came up so far. And that's the green onion that I collected those seeds from that's currently growing. And what's enough? Oh yeah. Here's a quite surprise. This is spaghetti spaghetti squash that I got from the farmer's market. The actual spaghetti squash, and then I saved the seeds. I guess I can take the top off. So this is what I have going. This is sp spaghetti squash. I bought from the farmers the seed the seeds came from one that I bought from the farmers market I saved the seeds and I planted them and these were planted on January the 11th and this is how they are today on February the 7th 2017 looking good they came up they've been out here in the weather in the 50 degrees, 40s, 30s, they've been out here. Now, let me pan, pan out. Let's see, now everything is sitting under a low tunnel, and I just started a couple of days ago using. Well, more than a couple of days ago, probably a week ago. It's been a week, no, two, three days ago. Using the plastic to cover the low tunnel. but And they were covered under the low tunnel. But today, it's been, in, got up to the 70, 70, 71, maybe 69 degrees. So I took the cover off, let them get some sunshine. It was a sunny day. Right now, this is early evening probably like 
five and I'm going to leave the cover off tomorrow because it's supposed to rain. I want all the area to get rained on. And then after the rain pass and before evening, I'm going to cover, put the plastic back on and cover it up because on tomorrow, on today, yeah, on Thursday, because today is Tuesday, on Thursday, the temperature is supposed to drop back down into the 40s, 30s. A uh, cold front is coming back through. I'm still trying to grow collard greens. I've had the worst issues with trying to grow these collard greens. That I, those collard greens were planted back in July of 2016. They've dealt with bugs, the the caterpillars munching them to death. They've been snowed on. Um, I covered them up when they were snowed. They didn't really seem to do well with being covered up. I'm thinking I should have left them uncovered and just let the snow sit on top. But, and some of the leaves rotted off, but it looks like they're trying to come back. So I'm hoping keeping them under a low tunnel will help them grow. Because in the low tunnel, the temperature is a bit warmer than it is outside the low tunnel. And this is my compost bin. Looking very ugly right now. I have I put all the produce, vegetables, and fruit scraps in it. And I hope something happens. I know it'll take some time. It has leaves, pine needles. See what happens.